I specialize in heart rhythm problems. And in the procedures we do, you actually have a patient that has a heart rhythm problem. You need to make the diagnosis in that procedure. Then you have to prove the diagnosis. And then you treat the patient. And I particularly like that because at the end, if it's um, the procedure has been successful, then you know for sure that everything has been completely sorted for the patient. And that's a very, for me, that's a good way of closing um, the whole process of diagnosis to therapy. The great thing about a team approach is that, unfortunately, as we specialise, we often become slightly too narrow, and it's important to have the, the bigger picture. And as a clinician, you often try and step back and have a bigger picture, but if you've got colleagues around you who are actually looking at everything from a different perspective, that actually creates the, the bigger picture you need and the whole perspective you need to treat the patient. And of course, we all have different expertise and experience, and that can be brought to bear on an individual problem and that enhances our ability to make the right decisions for our patients. I, I like to think that uh, my interactions with patients, I try and be much more their, their partner in managing the problem and dealing with the problem and giving them an opportunity to discuss all the options for their treatment rather than um, be more paternalistic and dictating what should be done. A patient's really looking for advice they can trust, so they want to be certain that they're being given the correct diagnosis and then that they're given all the possible management options in an unbiased way so they can then weigh up the pros and cons of the different treatments and they want to feel confident that the doctor that they're seeing is giving them a balanced view as to how they should be treated or what the best treatment may be for them. I had a patient once, he was a, he was a, a sort of sports trainer and I remember him saying to me, I was uh, was doing all my exams, so I wasn't particularly fit at the time. And he said to me, Doc, he said, what you need to do is you need to do exercise as part of your day. Get up and do 20 press-ups before you go to work. So I thought that's never going to happen. But uh, then I had to, uh, the hospital I was going to work in next was a long way by any form of public transport. So I started cycling. So I, I do a lot of cycling. Now I cycle to work, I cycle for leisure. I've done charity bike rides in all sorts of interesting places like Cambodia. And I, I find that quite a way, of, a good way of relaxing.